Hello friends and welcome to Rays of Hope, light from God's holy and precious word. Well friend, today if you will take your Bible and turn with me over to the book of 1 Samuel. We'll be in 1 Samuel chapter number 2. And today I want us to look at a very powerful prayer prayed by Hannah. You know, prayer is important in our lives. One of the greatest gifts that God has given us is access to the very throne room of God. And it's one we don't really take advantage of like we should. Prayer changes things. Today at 11 o'clock, we'll be at the Fellowship Baptist Church in Cecil, Georgia, to try to pray this old virus out of our land and out of our world. God is able, and He can do it. We just got to have the faith and ask to receive. Let's look at this powerful prayer that Hannah prayed and let it influence our life. 1 Samuel chapter number 2, beginning with verse 1. The Bible says here, And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. If there's anything that our heart ought to do, it'll be to rejoice in the Lord. Always. And again, I say rejoice. My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. Hannah opens up by letting God know that he is God and that she praises him and rejoices in him, and that because of his salvation, she has victory over even her enemies. Now let's continue this prayer. There is none holy as you, Lord, for there is none besides thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Praise his holy name. Friend, you learn that Jesus is the rock I've had people to say, Preacher, I've hit rock bottom. Well, it's at rock bottom that you realize that Jesus is the rock at the bottom. Talk no more, so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord is God, is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken. And they are stumbled, they are girded with strength. They that are full have hired out themselves for bread, and they were hungry, uh, and their hunger ceased. So the barren had borne seven, and she had many children, and she's waxed feeble. The Lord killeth, and the Lord maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave, and he bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low, and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust, and lifts up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall be the judge to the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. What a powerful prayer this woman prayed. I really, really love these first couple of verses. They reach into my spirit. The whole prayer reaches into my spirit. But friend, there's power in prayer. We need to pray and rejoice in knowing that we have a God that is God. And he's far able and abundantly can do more than we expect and can exceed even our greatest thoughts. God is God. And friend, we need to cry out to him. I like verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord. 
Friend, there's a lot of people that think they're holy, but without Him there is no holy. He is holy. Holiness without, the Bible says, no man shall see God. Not talking about a denomination. It's talking about holy living. And the only way you can live holy is in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none besides thee. Kind of makes it very clear. There is no other God. Neither is there any rock like our God. Boy, I like that. He is our rock of ages. And friend, while we may find ourselves in the midst of a pandemic, I call it a pandemic. Now I had a lady to send me a message. She said, Preacher, this could be God's pandemic to wake up a sleeping church. I've never been in a time of adversity or trying circumstances that God didn't use it in my life. And I believe God's using this. Friend, He is our rock. And sometimes we just need to stop and cry out to the rock of ages. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today at 11 o'clock at the Fellowship Baptist Church in Cecil, Georgia. If you're in the Cook County, Adel, Georgia area, uh, come on out to Fellowship Baptist Church. It's just out from Cecil. We'd certainly love for you to come and help us pray this old pandemic out of here. God is able, and God hears and answers our prayer. We started this little prayer meeting uh, five weeks ago with just uh, five people. Uh, Last week we had 11 to show up. Don't know what God may do today, but we certainly would like for you to come and be a part of it because there's power in prayer. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for this beautiful prayer that Hannah prayed that reminds us that you are God and you deserve our praise. And as she said in her prayer, we do rejoice in you because the joy of the Lord is our strength. God, uh, I must confess that I, I am burdened because I look and I see people suffering and going through a troubled time and many dying from this terrible disease that's invaded our land. And uh, God, I just pray uh, that uh, you would help us be faithful in our prayer life and ask you to remove it if it takes a long time, a time Our time is a lot different than yours. We live in such an instant society, God, that we want it right now, right now, God. But you have a perfect time, and in your time, you'll move, and God, things will be much better. But help us be faithful until that time comes. And remind us, Lord, that uh, we must be patient, because a day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is a day with the Lord. Your timing is perfect. Help us trust it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. Uh, Sometimes just stop and begin to read the prayers of God's people. It'll bless your heart. Hannah prayed a powerful prayer here. And uh, in her prayer, she reminds us of who God is. Maybe you need to remind somebody today who God really is. And your life could be the only Bible they'll ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.